Located within Ninh Minh province of North Vietnam, near the southern margin of the Red River Delta, the Trang An landscape complex is a mixed cultural and natural property contained mostly within three protected areas. Trang An is a scenic area renowned for its boat cave tours. The Trang An scenic landscape complex was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014. The Trang An scenic landscape complex include Hua Lu and Tam Kok Beach Dong. The Trang An landscape complex is a spectacular landscape of limestone karst peaks permeated with valleys, many of them partly submerged and surrounded by steep, almost vertical cliffs. The exceptionally beautiful tower karst landscape of Trang An is dominated by a spectacular array of forest mantle limestone rock towers up to 200 meters high. The blend of towering mountains draped in natural rainforest with large internal basins and narrow cave passages containing quietly flowing waters creates an extraordinarily beautiful and tranquil landscape. Trang An Wharf is located 3 km south of Hua Lu, ancient capital, 7 km from Ninh Binh, city, to the west along Trang An Boulevard. We drove the 3.5 km from our homestay close to the Sun Sao Khe River outside of Ninh Binh in less than 10 minutes to Trang An Wharf. <laughs> Here we parked our motorbike on a huge parking lot and a ticket booth. Parking costs 15,000 Vietnamese dong for motorcycles. We paid 250,000 Vietnamese dong, that's 10 euro, per person for tickets with a traditional sampan rode by a local female guide. Once we had purchased our tickets, we walked through the huge ticket office building and through an underground tunnel that goes under the road to the boat dock. Walking over the stone bridge to the island where all the rowers were waiting with their sampans, we were struck by the serene beauty of the magnificent limestone lights landscape that surrounded us. It was very similar to the landscape in Holland Bay, only this one was on land. We noticed that almost all the rowers were females, wearing a traditional Vietnamese straw hat and a turquoise green uniform jacket. There were hundreds, maybe thousands of sampans docked along the shores of the lake surrounding the island. Hãy subscribe cho
Although there are three different boat routes, yeah. the price is the same no matter which one you choose to do. Each one goes a different way than the others, so if you choose to do multiple boat tours, you'll see something different each time. Each boat had to have four people plus a rower, so we had to share a ride in a sampan with another young couple from Vietnam. The tour lasted three hours and during the boat ride we passed through several caves, including the famous Kong Skull Island film location, Vietnam, and enjoyed the stunning scenery that served as the background for the movie's epic battle scenes. The Chang'an terrestrial ecosystem has more than 600 species of plants, 200 species of animals, many of which are in Vietnam's red list. The aquatic ecosystem consists of about 30 species of zooplanktons, 40 species of bentos, including many rare species, especially striped neck turtles, that need to be protected. Exploration of caves at different altitudes has revealed archaeological traces of human activity over a continuous period of more than 30,000 years. They illustrate the occupation of these mountains by seasonal hunter-gatherers and how they adapted to major climatic and environmental changes, especially the repeated inundation of the landscape by the sea after the last ice age. The study of human occupation continues through the Neolithic and Bronze Ages to the historical era. Oh my God. Hua Lu, the ancient capital of Vietnam, was strategically established here in the 10th and 11th centuries AD.
The first tunnel we rode through was 1.5 kilometers long. The property also contains temples, pagodas, paddy fields and small villages.
Top Temple, also known as Twin Temple, is a relic site located in Tranga. This is the place to worship the two channels of court, Tatan Tru and Hutan Tru. Next to the corridor of the temple grounds there is a stone tablet. This is called the Four Stone Pagodas, inscribed in the Li dynasty, the fifth Mandarin in 1723. Trin Temple at the foot of the Monod mountain existed more than a thousand years ago in the Din dynasty. Experience in many storms, rain and sunshine, the change of history of time, the temple needed to be restored. In 1998 it was repaired more spaciously and beautifully on the foundations of the old temple. In 2010 the local people built here an architectural monk worshipping the four pillars of court of the Din dynasty. Chang'an is of global significance as an outstanding humid tropical tamarcast landscape and in the final stages of geomorphic evolution. It is composed of a variety of classical cast cones and towers and a network of enclosed depressions connected by an intricate system of subterranean waterways. Some of the caves are navigable by small boats. The area is unique in having been invaded by the sea several times in the recent geological past due to oscillating sea level, but is now emergent on land. Fluctuations of sea level are evidenced by an altitudinal series of erosion notches in cliffs with associated caves, wave-cut platforms, beach deposits and marine shell layers. When we were rowed by a local female guide in a traditional sampan, we sort of experienced an intimate connection with the natural environment and a relaxing sense of serenity and security. The dramatic mountains, secretive caves and sacred places in Chang'an must have inspired people through countless generations. We loved it.
The greater part of the property is enclosed within three officially designated protected areas and contains a number of other sites protected by government decree. A large buffer zone surrounds the property and is designed to protect it from external impacts. It contains many small villages together with gardens, farms and rice paddies and also the recently reconstructed Padin Pagoda complex. I will soon edit and upload a video from footage I made in the Padin Pagoda complex. In the Trang An area there are about 14,000 residents, the majority of whom are families involved in subsistence agriculture, but much of that property is inhabited and in a natural state. Occupied areas are mainly small traditional villages and associated gardens and rice paddy fields tended by subsistence farmers. Chang'an Bao Tour is definitely worth visiting. It's so peaceful, serene and beautiful and should not be missed. It's one of the best things to do in the magnificent area around Denbin. Besides the nature here didn't have the pollution of plastic rubbish you see in other places in Vietnam.